Unlike Egos that contain a battery within the device as well as the required circuitry that allows for variable voltage and auto shutoffs. Mechanical mods are simply the device without a pre-installed battery or any circuitry. A basic mechanical mod is a tube of metal with a firing pin that allows for the current in the battery to reach the atomizer, which causes the coils to heat up and vaporize the juice. Because of its very simplistic design, they're extremely durable and modifiable. However, it should be noted that they are potentially harmful. It should be stated that no lithium battery powered device is 100% safe because of the amount of energy stored in a small battery. The problem with mechanical mods is that it does not have a chip that can monitor things like short circuit and over discharge. Without getting too technical, it can basically make the battery unstable to a point that it may overheat and catch flames. However, a good quality mechanical mod in the hands of an experienced person is safe. So with that, here are the safety tips. 1. Regularly check for atomizer resistance and short circuits. A fully mechanical mod will still fire even when a short occurs on the atomizer. A short circuit technically means zero or close to zero resistance or ohms. If you are using a new atomizer, make sure you check your resistance first before screwing it on your mechanical mods. If you are using a rebuildable atomizer, do not let the ohms go too low because some batteries may become very stressed with lower resistance. When starting out, you should build them at a standard resistance around 2.4 to 3.0 ohms just to be safe. With an ohms meter, you'll be able to monitor battery voltage and resistance of your clearomizers and atomizers and detect shorts on the mechanical mod body. However, it should be stressed that a short doesn't always occur in the atomizer and you must test the unit itself as well. To do this with an ohms meter, take out your battery, with one probe, touch the positive pin and the other on the body. If the meter shows any kind of resistance, it means the current is flowing and you have a short somewhere. Two, quality above all. Don't get a cheap battery to save yourself a few dollars, it's just not worth it for your safety. Older batteries and those that have damaged casing or any other noticeable defects should not be used. It's also important to understand the right type of battery. A good quality protected ICR chemistry battery is a better choice and some would even argue that IMR battery chemistry is safer due to it being less volatile. Just like the batteries you want to get a good quality charger. A bad charger can overcharge your battery which can damage the battery making it unstable and increasing the chance of it overheating, venting, or even exploding when in use. A fully charged IMR battery should be between 4.15 and 4.20 volts. Anything above that 4.25 volt and you will shorten its life and instability becomes a concern. Above 4.5 is a recipe for disaster. 3. Avoid stacking batteries. Stacking batteries means putting one battery on top of another in series so they produce a higher voltage. By doing so, it adds a lot of stress to each of the batteries. Not all batteries are designed to be stacked. Stacking will stress both batteries much more than when the same atomizer is used in a one cell configuration. Another problem with stacking batteries is again, overcharge or discharge. One battery may already be fully charged while the other half full. Sooner or later, one will ultimately overcharge or discharge and cause some problems. If you have no choice, such as you have a mechanical mod that only accepts stacked batteries, you can use a spacer, aka dummy battery, or purchase the best quality batteries that are designed to be stacked. Use atomizers with a resistance that will not stress your setup. And always check the health of your batteries regularly. 4. Make sure your mods have vent holes. One of the biggest problems with batteries experiencing thermal runaway, which can be caused by shorts, stress, or over discharge, is that the battery expands at a rapid rate. A mod without vent holes will allow pressure to build up inside because it has nowhere to go. When this occurs, your mod may crack, shatter, or break, causing harm to you and others. A mechanical mod with appropriate vent holes can prevent this pressure from building up and it can release the rapidly expanding gases before it even builds up to dangerous levels. Safety is really important when it comes to dealing with vaporizers, especially mechanical mods. All the products you see here, except the multimeter, is available at 123vaporizers.com. For more information, 
guides, how-tos, and product reviews, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.